Skyview Network, sponsored by Terry Lambert Hyundai. Rudolph may have a shiny nose, but we have ourselves a shiny forecast. We'll talk about some wonderful sunshine heading our way in the next couple of days. All coming up with the Viper 6 forecast. Right now on News Channel 6 and 4, a man who had been considered missing and in danger is now in jail in Richmond County. We'll tell you why. Plus, Augusta commissioners preparing to vote on next year's budget will explain what's being considered. And how you can get a free Christmas tree. Yeah, there's a whole lot full of them as News Channel 6 at 4 starts now. Live from Television Park, this is WJBF News Channel 6 at 4. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Brad Means. And I'm Jenny Montgomery. Thanks so much for joining us. Coverage you can count on begins with a story we've been following all day in Aiken County. It started this morning at a home on Carpentersville Road in North Augusta. Officers say Daniel Harmon from Jackson had been considered missing and was inside. He eventually came out of the house. He was taken to the hospital for treatment and evaluation, then arrested on an outstanding warrant for second degree domestic violence. 30-year-old Jamila Smith is still missing. Investigators say she was last seen with Harmon on Saturday and both have a history of domestic violence. A fire investigation is underway in Richmond County. It happened last night at Nina's Flower and Antique Gift Shop on McCartan Street in Augusta. Today, co-owner Shania Author was back at work. She says the shop has some water damage, but that's not going to stop them from operating. We're still going to be 100% open for business, and we're just going to push forward and do what we have to do. Author says they will be ready for weddings and the holidays. Happening now, Augusta Commissioner is voting on next year's budget. They're talking about a possible $2 million reduction in the general fund alone. Commissioners also expected to approve plans for renovations at Dias Park. Those plans include new basketball courts, pickleball courts, and a splash pad. They'll also tear down an historic 130-year-old firehouse. We'll let you know what commissioners decide about the budget and Dias Park on News Channel 6 at 6. And the city of Augusta is set to revitalize the Sand Hills community. The city using a federal grant to buy the old weed school for $1.3 million. The plan is to put a mixed-use development on the 2.2-acre property. We'll have a lot more on this project coming up on News Channel 6 at 10 and 11. And voters in Waynesboro at the polls today for the mayor's race. Vice Mayor James Jones trying to... All right, Tim, thank you so much for that. A local business is pitching in to make sure everyone has a great holiday season. Other parts of the country have reported Christmas tree shortages, but here in Augusta, Augusta Roofing and Gutters is having a giveaway for anyone who wants a free tree. News Channel 6's Ram Lee joins us now live from the former National Science Center where all of those trees are located. Graham, what, what can you tell us about this? Well, Jenny, that's exactly right. Recently, Augusta Roofing and Gutters came here to check out an issue, issue with the roof, and now it's turning into an opportunity to give back to the community. Now, this whole property is more than 70 acres of land, but this small portion is full of fresh-cut pine trees, big and small. The roofing company has partnered with America's adopted soldier who originally wanted to clear this plot of land, but Carolyn Chase tells me she wanted to put space to good use. I'm excited about it. I think that um, just being able to give back instead of just letting them be torn down, cleared, and go to waste. So, you know, that I would with a lack of better words to say. So I just think it's very important for us to just give back to the community. Now the giveaway is coming up this Sunday right here at 10 a.m. The trees are at no cost to you. It's completely free, and all you need to do is show up. Live in Augusta, Graham Lee, WJBF, News Channel 6. Back to you guys. All right, Graham, thank you. The city of Augusta's annual Christmas parade is this week with a new route. It's moving to Green and Telfair Streets. It starts at 10th Street. The parade begins at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. We'll be airing it on MeTV and streaming it live on WJBF.com.
just a few more days left to help with our holiday toy drive. We're teaming up with our Giving Your Best Partners to collect toys for children this Christmas. We'll get them all wrapped and delivered to the nonprofit Bridge Ministries. You can drop off your new unwrapped toy through Friday right here at Television Park or any local security federal bank. A study put on by the University of South Carolina and an Augusta restaurant aiming to help people live healthier lives. You have to become vegan in order to do it, though. It's the Nutritious Eating with a Soul study, a 12-week plant-based eating program at Soka Vegan Kitchen. It's for African Americans between the ages of 18 and 65. And the people who are doing this say the goal is to chart whether those taking part lose weight and see improvements in chronic diseases, including high blood pressure. Those interested can take part in the upcoming study in April. You'll get a $15 eating voucher from SOCA, and you have to go to classes each week. When it comes to African-American people, um, the food that is provided is not necessarily beneficial for the um, long-term health or for the life of African-Americans. And what we learned was that we, we were not educated very well, um, that there were socioeconomic um, reasons why we would choose to eat things. Researchers at USC say they are in desperate need of African-American men for this study. To sign up, you can visit newsoul.org. Hey, Kentucky getting a new food pantry to help students in need. Yeah, it's going to be really nice when they're finished with it. They're going to put appliances and food from the Golden Harvest Food Bank in an unused part of their cafeteria. Grant money from the Community Foundation of the CSRA is going to make this possible, and it should open in August. This week in our Your Hometown Road Trip, we head to Appling, Georgia. News Channel 6's Brandon Dawson is going to check out Sanderland Greenhouses. He'll play some disc golf and talk to a business owner who just loves to call Appling home. I have just become such a part of Appling. I have such a heart for Appling and just love this little community so much that to me it was a very natural progression to open a place where they could gather. Be sure to check out the Your Hometown Road Trip Wednesdays on News Channel 6 at 1230 as they travel to a new location in the CSRA every single week. Well, you never know when a medical emergency can strike and the burden of all those bills can be overwhelming. If you are in need of medical supplies, from surgical pads to walkers to hospital beds even, you've got to see this next story. Don't go away. Welcome back, everybody. Dana's Recovery Room is a unique ministry. It's located at Emanuel Baptist Church in North Augusta. It offers a free service that many of you may be able to use or support with donations of supplies. Take a look. And we used to call her Deacon Dana because oh. she was like all about her church. I mean, there, there was this little girl. Oh, she yes. Was and she was, you know, seven years old. Sandra Nuss created Dana's Recovery Room in honor of her daughter who died 21 years ago. She was a student here, five years old. I put her in Sunday school. I didn't go to church, but I wanted her to go to church. So at seven, she was diagnosed with leukemia. So she made it to remission and um, coming to church, but the church people here were so good to us. And I'm like, you know, so she's in the hospital bed one time and I said, when we, when you get well, I'll come to church with you. She was so excited. And a couple of years later, when Dana was nine, Sandra did join the church. I did, and I have never left since. <laughs> We've been deeply loved, and we see it as an opportunity to pour that love of Jesus back out into others. I don't know what made me think of it, but I just know Dana would be all about this. She helped people so much. So I said, let me just try and do a little room. And I just started with my Facebook page. It just exploded. There's probably, we could keep expanding and keep expanding yeah. the amount of stuff that uh, people bring in. And it's just such a cool, yeah. we're getting to connect people in the community because people are donating it. You know, we're able to give because people are giving. This is medical supplies, medical equipment that people can come and, and get. Yes, it doesn't matter what state you're from. You don't need insurance. We ask for a ID when it's equipment. And you know what? I don't even know why. I just 
makes them maybe a little more like they'll bring it back when they bed. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so we do that, but it just doesn't matter. And if we have it, they can, you know, take it. Sometimes it's less about the equipment and more about the conversations you're going to have and the people you're able to, you know, help lift a burden for. And a lot of people just come, just really need somebody to talk to, some of the caregivers. Dana's recovery room is open every Wednesday from noon until 4 p.m. You can get free medical supplies and equipment or drop off donations during that time. It's located at Emanuel Baptist Church in North Augusta. That's at 615 Old Edgefield Highway, um, actually Old Edgefield Road, right off Atomic Road. Coming up, a decrease in volunteers for the American Red Cross. Why officials say fewer people are helping. Also ahead, our chief meteorologist Tim Miller back with the live Viper 6 forecast. He'll let you know what's happening for the rest of this work week and into another parade weekend when we come back. I'm attorney Jane AC Issues. We'll swear so you don't have to. Coleman Services, your plumbing and AC pros. She found it. The feeling of finding the psoriasis treatment she's been looking for. So Titu is the first of its kind, once daily pill for moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. For the chance at clear or almost clear skin. It's worth the feeling of finding that outfit psoriasis tried to hide from you. Or finding your swimsuit is ready for prime time. Once Daily Sotitu is proven to get more people clearer skin than the leading pill. Don't take if you're allergic to Sotitu. Serious reactions can occur. Sotitu can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB. Serious infections, cancers including lymphoma, muscle problems, and changes in certain labs have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have an infection, liver or kidney problems, high triglycerides, or had a vaccine or plan to. Sotitu is a TIC2 inhibitor. TIC2 is part of the DAC family. It's not known if Sotitu has the same risk as DAC inhibitors. Find what plaque psoriasis has been hiding. Ask your dermatologist about Sotitu for clearer skin. So clearly you, so take two. Part of next week, what's your forecast? Tim, thanks. The Red Cross says it is seeing a real shortage when it comes to volunteers this holiday season all across the country. Dahlia James explains the reason for the decline and how you can get involved. The American Red Cross Disaster Action Team is dedicated to helping families across the low country, and now they need a helping hand. The team includes trained professionals that offers emotional support, recovering shelter, supplies, and long-term services to people in a time of need. According to the American Red Cross, there are over 60,000 fires that the disaster team responds to every year, and volunteers from the disaster action team are on call 24-7 in 365 days out of the year. And the need for volunteers during the holiday season ramps up. Officials say the number of home fires triples through October and December. So the Red Cross of South Carolina disaster action team currently is responding to an average of six home fires here in South Carolina every single day and unfortunately uh, we see those numbers increase by 30 percent in the winter months and that's why there's a greater need for volunteers right now so uh, if you're looking for a way to get back this holiday season volunteering with the Red Cross is such a wonderful way to do that. We'll have more information on how to become a volunteer on our website at countonto.com. Reporting on Isle of Palms, I'm Delilah James, Count On Two. Our sister station down there in Charleston, if you're interested in volunteering for the Disaster Action Team or donating blood, you can just visit redcross.org. Coming up, up, a new way of having unlimited internet connection. Yeah, we're going to tell you about some technology that scientists are working on. That's coming up next. Wow, if you're looking for great deals on Christmas decor, you've got to get to Carolina Pottery. Huge selections of ornaments, trees, wreaths, and greenery, all at our everyday low prices. Get festive for less this year. Visit carolinapottery.com or a store near you. Why should you call a lawyer after a car accident? Without a lawyer, you might not get the money you deserve or the medical care you need. Call 706-724-7224. Over the last 20... You're invited to the Augusta Metro Chamber's 2023 Best in Business Celebration, December 7th, honoring Augusta's Entrepreneur, presented by South State Bank and the Corporation of the Year, featuring a panel of past recipients. Register at AugustaMetroChamber.com. Quarter Bowl 11. Get tickets now at WJBF.com. It's Christmas time again at Carolina Pottery. Shop and save on our variety of decorating themes. 
From traditional to whimsical, we've got the style you need with hundreds of value-priced products to choose from. Visit carolinapottery.com or a store near you. Okay, well, this is a little bit different, but soon you may be able to take the Internet with you wherever you go inside your body. Researchers at Purdue University are working on a project to turn humans into their own personal routers. They're trying to develop a new communication method. They call it high-speed connectivity around your body. Your body would collect and process data through a wearable brain, which talks to your smart devices for you. Your body will also serve as a conductor for the data. The team says this tech is so new, they don't even know how far they can take it. That just sounds terrifying to me. It really does. And if the battery died, would it make you go to sleep? What would happen to your brain since you're wearing a wearable brain? Right. Uh -oh. There's a lot more coverage Weird. you can count on coming up on News Channel 6 at 4.30. Including, we're now just the day away from the fourth Republican presidential debate. The candidates taking the stage next. Attorney 